naman, aaralin naman natin yung pagkuha ng areas between curves using sub-regions. Now, hindi naman masyadong malaki yung pagkakaiba ng pagkuha ng area sa um, given curves or given functions tulad ng ginawa natin before. Pero ngayon lang, mapapansin nyo na yung ating area under the curve, eh meron na ngayong partition. Now, kapag ka nangyari nagkaroon kayo ng partition doon sa inyong functions na nag-intersect, magkakaroon kayo ngayon ng mga sub-regions tulad nito. So, ito lang yung isang example ng dalawang functions na meron dalawang sub-regions, sub-regions, sub and so on. Now, pagka nangyari ito, syempre, logically, ang gagawin natin is to find the area of this region at kukunin natin yung area on this region tapos i-add natin yung dalawang sub-regions na yan para makuha natin yung total area between the interval A and B. So, ito yung illustration ng pagkuha ng areas between curves with sub-regions. So, ito yung A sub 1, added to a sub 2, na gagamitin natin later on sa ating example. Now, in this example, we need to find the area of the region in the first quadrant that is bounded above by y equal to square root of x and below the x-axis and the line y equal to x minus 2. So, meron tayo dito tatlong um, functions na i-consider para makuha natin yung area ng functions na ito. So, yung unang-una, y equal to square root of x, which is given by this graph right here, tapos along daw sa x-axis, so kailangan natin i-emphasize na gamit-gamit din natin yung x-axis para makbuo yung area under the curve na nandiri to. Tapos yung ating line na y equals x minus 2. So ito yung ating line na y equals x minus 2. Now, if wala dito ngayon yung ating linya, kinat ko lang yung linya na to para ma-emphasize ko yung sub-regions na hahanapin natin. Pero mapapansin nyo na meron tayong dalawang area dito kasi kung gagamitan natin ng um, pananda itong mga sub-regions na to, ganito lang kung paano nyo malalaman kung meron kayong two or more sub-regions. Kapag nagmula kayo dito sa pinakadulo, moving towards doon sa kanan, mapapansin nyo yung top and bo bottom natin is parehas. Yung top function, yung bottom function will still be the same at y equals square root of x at saka um, x equal to o yung x-axis. So, pare-parehas lang yung ating fu um, function sa top at saka sa bottom. Now, pagdating dito sa gitna, at x equal to 2, nag-iiba ngayon yung ating function para sa ating bottom field. So ngayon, yung top natin will still be y equals square root of x, pero yung bottom field natin is now y equals x minus 2. Ngayon, dyan yung malalaman na kailangan yung mag hati or hatiin yung area under the curve kasi nga, mula dito sa green area na to, yung ating top and bottom, eh, y square root of x at saka yung x-axis. Pero pagdating naman dito, Nag-iba na ngayon yung bottom function natin kasi naging y equals x minus 2 na. So, yan yung paraan kung paano nyo malalaman kung paano kayo maghahati ng sub-regions kapag ka binaybay nyo yung mula sa pinakakaliwa papunta sa kanan tapos nag-iiba yung inyong function between top at saka sa bottom. So, yung first step natin is to find the area ng either itong area na ito o yung pangalawang area, yung green area. So, dito, in-illustrate ko yung finding area ng first function na ito. So, pag na-compute natin yan, kailangan hanapin natin yung interval by finding the point of intersection nitong ating graph na ito. So, kailangan alam natin yung point of intersection para alam natin yung x value niya. So, hanapin natin siya later on. So, square root of x, syempre ito yung top or ito yung bigger area minus x minus 2, which is yung bottom area, dx. So, kukunin nyo yung definite integral na yan para makuha nyo yung area ng first region. At yung second region naman will be the integral of, ito naman, yung top pa rin. Yung top niya is y equals square root of x. So, we have square root of x minus 0 kasi x is equal to 0 dito naman sa ating function na ito. Then, kukunin nyo yung derivative niya. So, pag nakuha nyo yung derivative, I mean, antiderivative or definite integral ng uh, area 1 at ng area 2, add them together and you'll have your area between two curves or three. Again, to illustrate our function, meron tayong uh, 
graph no y equals square root of x, which is given by that purple graph right there. Tapos yung ating uh, x-axis na included dun sa ating formula, yung ating line na y equals x minus 2, at yung ating mga area na kailangang gawin o kailangan nating isolve. Now, hindi na natin isasama yung bottom part ng ating y equals square root of x kasi um, kailangan lang natin daw is yung mga na doon sa x-axis. So, mapapansin nyo na meron tayong partition mula 0 through 2 at saka 2 to another value of x na kailangan nating isolve later on. So, meron tayo ngayon dalawang area yung area 1 and area 2 at hahanapin natin yung dalawang areas na yan using definite integral. But first, hanapin natin yung point of intersection ng line y equals x minus 2 at ng function na square root of x. And to do that, all we need to do is to equate the two functions para makuha natin yung value ng x. So we have square root of x equal to x minus 2 by getting rid of the radical x is equal to x minus 2 squared Tapos i-expand nyo si x minus 2 and you'll have x squared minus 4x plus 4 which gives you x squared minus 5x plus 4. At mapapansin nyo na factorable yung ating quadratic equation. So now we have x is equal to 1 at x is equal to positive 4. Now, dalawa yung values ng x natin. And obviously, ang gagamitin natin si x equal to 4 kasi yun yung nandoon sa pinakamalapit na estimation ng ating point of intersection. So, in this case, yung ating interval natin is going to be from 2 to x equal to 4. So, makikita nyo, yun yung um, interval natin dun along sa x-axis between 2 to 4. So, to uh, find the area under the curve ng dalawa nating subregion. So yung pangalawang region naman natin is going to be integral or integration from 0 to 2. So mapapansin niyo yung so yung points of intersection ng pangalawang uh, subregion natin will be y equal to x minus 2 at mapapansin niyo na yung x minus 2 niyo will give us 2 so x is equal to 2. So parehas talaga or na, na confirm natin na yung uh, point of intersection niya will be doon sa x equal to 2. Now, dalawa yung subregions, subregions natin, ang hahanapin natin ngayon yung subregion ng nauna, which is the integral of the function squared of x minus 0 dx on the interval 0 to 2. So, yan yung ating first area ng ating subregion. Tapos, yung pagkuha ng ng area nyan, by definite integration, we'll have the integral of square root of x dx from 0 to 2 at makukuha natin yung area nyan later on. Now, yung ating pangalawang area naman para sa subregion natin sa pangalawa, meron tayong integration sign na magmumula from 2 to 4 kasi yun yung values ng ating x interval. So, we have the interval or the integral of square root of x which is yung function on top minus the function on the bottom which is x minus 2 dx from 2 to 4. And by simplifying our function, we'll have an area of 1.447 plus 1.886. So, hindi ko na pinakita yung ating definite integration, pero yan yung magiging area natin ng subregion ng una at yung subregion ng pangalawa. And to add them together, we'll have a or the area of 3.333 or 10 over 3 units squared. So, yan yung area ng ating region using this technique. Now, yung pangalawang technique na gagawin natin using the integral will be the integration with, with respect to x-axis at yung integration with respect to y-axis. Now, ito yung illustration ng ating function a while ago. So, mapapansin nyo dito na nagkaroon tayo ng dalawang sub-region kasi nung hinati natin siya dito, yung ating area ng top and bottom nag-iba pagdating dito sa ating um, interval na ito, which is at x equal to 2. So, nagkaroon ng ibang interval, kaya ang ginawa natin, kinuha natin yung area ng first subregion at saka yung second subregion, and then we added them together at nakuha natin yung sagot. Now, kapag ka binaliktad natin to, so let's say, hinawi natin to ng, pa, ng ganitong direction, mapapansin nyo na kapag ka ngayon nag- Bye-bye tayo from left to right, hindi na nag-iiba yung ating top 
area at I mean yung top function at saka yung ating bottom function. So nagiging consistent siya. Since binaligtad natin yung ating area, babalik ta rin rin natin yung ating or orientation ng ating integral or yung upper and lower limit dun sa ating integration. So ito yung mangyayari dun sa ating area. So from here, binaligtad natin siya, translate natin siya tulad nito. So ang mangyayari ngayon, ito ngayon is with respect to the y-axis kasi yung area natin na binabaybay ngayon is yung top and bottom yung ating area will be along the y-axis. So, ang kailangan natin hanap, hanapin ngayon will be the value ng ating lower limit which is nandito at yung upper limit which is nandito rin. So, hanapin natin siya later on para hindi na tayo gagamit ng dalawang subregions to find the area under the curve. In a previous um, area or function, Tapos ang ginawa natin, binaliktad natin siya kasi gusto nga natin na makuha na lang, naiisa na lang yung value ng ating, or magiging consistent na lang yung ating value ng function sa top at yung value ng function sa bottom. So ang mangyayari niyan, iibahin natin yung orientation. At kapag iniba natin yung orientation, mag integrate natin na tayo in terms of y. And to do that, kailangan lang natin i-change yung ating mga function. So from y equals square root of x, i-change natin ngayon siya sa x equal to y squared. Kasi to get rid of the radical symbol, kailangan nyo square yung both sides. So ngayon, with respect to x na yung ating function. So x is equal to y squared. Kasi iniiba natin yung orientation niya. So yung pangalawang function naman, which is y equals x minus 2, kapag ka binaliktad natin siya, ang magkakaroon na tayo na ngayon ng function in terms of y will give us x equal to y plus 2. So ngayon, yan na yung bago nating function na gagamitin para sa ating integral notation. Dahil iniba na natin yung uh, orientation from x to y, iibahin rin natin yung ating integration limit. So yung ating lower limit and upper limit ay ibabase na natin sa ating y values. At mapapansin nyo dun sa graph, yung y values natin, nakikita nyo yun, 2, 0, and 4, 2. Ang gagamitin natin ngayon will be 0 and 2. So yan na ngayon yung ating magiging lower limit and upper limit. Now ibabalik ko siya sa original nating um, orientation dahil kukumputin na natin yung uh, area nung with respect to y. So to do that, magiging right to left method na yung gagawit, gagamitin natin, hindi na top to bottom. So yung ating right function is yung purple graph which is basically y equals square root of x. So ngayon nga, yun yung x equal to y squared. So ang mangyayari ngayon, from y squared going to y plus 2. Kasi going right, going to the left side of your or right minus left. So yung ating right function going sa left function, yun yung magiging equation natin. So we have the integral of y minus 2 minus y squared dy from 0 to 2. So yun na ngayon yung ating magiging integral function. So mapapansin nyo, wala na siyang subregion kasi um, iisa na lang yung ating orientation ngayon. So ngayon, meron tayong definite integration ng y minus 2 minus y squared by simplifying our function and by evaluating our definite integral, yung area under the curve natin will give us the same result, which is 10 all over 3. So, parehas pa rin naman ng...